Sauvignon Sports Diablos. Hello folks, uh, welcome to the channel again. Uh, what I'm doing today, I'm going to test out a new pallet that I first saw on the Airgun show with Matt Manning. And the, a new pallet has come out from China, a new brand of pallets known as the Quang Yun Sports Diablo. They also do uh, the flat headed match pallets. And uh, so far, the results from these have been really good. Uh, we've not heard of anything before coming out of China that shoots like these. Uh, uh, and they are pretty accurate. Uh, some of the lads at our range, uh, Rob Taylor, he's shot them alongside uh, some really good pellets like the, uh, the Day States and JSBs and things like that. And these keep up with them, if not better some of them. Uh, so I thought what I'd do, I'd buy some, review them, uh, put them over the chronograph, see what kind of power they're putting out and then do some uh, target shooting with them. But I thought to myself, well, if I'm going to use the, uh, the Quan Yan Sports Diablo uh, pellets, which weigh 8.48 grains, can't just shoot them on their own. I've got to compare them with some. So, so uh, <clears throat> what I will compare them to is the uh, the Day State Range Master Sovereigns at 10.3 grains. Uh, the reason I'm saying I'm, I'm going to use this one is because I'm using a particular rifle, which is the Falcon Prairie, and I know these do really good through the barrel. So if these are anything like this, uh, it should be good. And not just uh, stop in there, uh, I thought I'd review two more pellets. Now these are from H&N and they've got the title green on the end of it. So basically then they're an alloy pellet, not, not lead. So it means they're lighter. <coughs> but both of these pellets in the lead form perform very well. Uh, one of them is for hunting and they're uh, barracudas. Uh, they've been known as Barracuda Match, but these are now known as Barracuda Green. Uh, they weigh 6.48 grains compared to 21.4 on the lead version. And the other well known uh, palette is the HN Field Target Trophy Green. Uh, this one is. Uh, but the normal Field Target Trophies also shoot well. They compare to like the uh, Webley Acapel, that kind of thing. And these weigh an amazing 5.56 grains. So, two well known pellets, but in an alloy format and a lot lighter, so the muzzle velocity should be a lot higher. Uh, but will the power be the same? Uh, comparing that to these new range of pellets coming from China, which are known as the uh, Quang Yun Sports Diablo or QYS for short. Uh, so, yeah, so what I'll do now. I will do a chronograph test. I'll fire ten pallets from each uh, each uh, different brand and version, and uh, we'll see what we're getting over the chronograph. Uh, and then uh, tomorrow I'll get down to the range and we'll see how they perform for accuracy. So uh, let's get on with the test and we'll see how they all perform over the chronograph. Okay, so the first pellet on test will be the, uh, the Quan Yang Sports Diablos at 
uh, 8.48 grains. I'm using the single shot tray. Right. So the first pellet, 7.48 feet per second. Now, I did find the easiest way to load the single shot, just slide the uh, tray halfway out, put the pellet on the tray, slide it back in. There's no fiddling about then. That's, uh, that's the same modular energy. 7.48 feet per second. Five shots. Pretty consistent actually. I believe this is shot 10. Give it a couple more, I think. Do 12 shot groupings. So I'll go to 60 and then I can use two magazines for on each uh, type of pallet and get a more consistent view. This will be shot 16 now. Now I've filled the uh, reservoir to 180 bar. So what I'll do before I put the next lot of pellets in, I'll fill it back to 180 bar again. Okay, so I believe that's 16 shots. Uh, seem quite consistent there. <coughs> so that will help on accuracy, consistency. This is an unregulated rifle in Falcon Prairie. But they have got a nice valve on them, so they do tend to uh, shoot well. So uh, the next one up now, I'll go up to the uh, H&N Fuel Target Trophy Green at 5.56 grains. 
so uh, it's a few grains lighter so expect to see that velocity up close up to about 800 feet per second I would have thought so uh, the next up will be the uh, field target tray for greens okay then folks so these are the H&N field target trophy greens. They're shot. 869. That's quite high. So uh, a lighter alloy pellet makes a lot faster pellet. And I have seen these being used on some of the American uh, YouTube channels. And obviously most of their guns are FAC rated. And they tend to do quite well for accuracy. So. Uh, what test I will need to do at a later date is see what the down range uh, power is because the lighter pellets tend to lose uh, energy quicker I mean uh, well yeah they tend to lo lose energy quicker further out they go than a, than a heavier pellet would that's why the big uh, big bore air guns it's like 30 caliber it's got plenty of weight behind them they retain that energy and they can be accurate up to up to 200 meters uh, obviously the elements slow work so I pellet it there you'll probably find that the heavier pellets are more efficient over the chronograph as well. We'll soon find out when we uh, check it over the computer. And as you may have seen in uh, some of the earlier videos, the single shot tray I'm using today was designed by Stuart Wardby of uh, SMW Engineering and it does 3D printing for air guns. And I'm not taking any backhanders or anything like that. Everything I do on my channel. I do it because it's out of interest. I'm not connected to anybody. I'm not even being paid for it. I just do it for our beef and I enjoy doing it. So don't think that because I'm talking about different people that are paying me to do it. It's because uh, if I think a product's working well, I'll let you know. So we're all part of the same shooting family. And if I can help anybody else, I will do it. Okay, so the last two coming up. Looking at these, they're all pretty consistent. Between 60 and 70 most of them, I think. Okay, so that is the uh, H&N Field Target Trophy Green. Weighing 5.56 grains. Probably got lost way more than that. Right, <clears throat> so the next up is the uh, Barracuda greens. Now these are a bit heavier. I, th I think I did mention in the uh, <laughs> original thing we weighed 21.4. I was thinking of 2 2. These actually weigh uh, 6.48 grains. Uh, oh, I 
was talking about the uh, the uh, lead variant. Now the lead variants they they weigh uh, ten ten point four or ten six five I think. So uh, yeah, about four grains heavier at least anyway for the lead version. So uh, what I'll do, I'll count uh, sixteen pellets out into the. Uh, Top of the lid, chop the rifle up as I did before, and we'll start again. And all the pellets I've bought today, apart from the day state ones, I bought from uh, Buttons. I bought it online the other day. Uh, they do ask for. ID, photo ID, so all you need to do if you order pellets from them is send them uh, a scanned copy of your driving license or passport and then you'll get your pellets sent out. I think I ordered these at the weekend. I didn't get their message about the uh, scanned photo until a couple of days later into the week, but I ordered it yesterday. Uh, I sent me uh, a driving license scan in and it came this morning. So. Uh, it's recorded delivery when it comes. I think it's about five pound thirty for delivery. But I've got three tins of pellets. Uh, you can save money by buying multi multiple tins. I think if you get ten tins, you get like one of the tins free, that kind of thing. But uh, here we go. So next up will be the uh, Barracuda greens. And just wait for the uh, crown graph to set, which it has done, and we'll get on with the test. These will be a bit slower than the last because they are a heavier pellet. Well, they expect, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Yeah, 82, 82 feet, that one. About 80, 80 feet, feet uh, 40, 40 feet, feet per second, second slower. slower due to the added weight. weight. Okay then, <coughs> so, so that's, that's the, the uh, uh, Barracuda Greens. Final one up will be the uh, tried and tested Dose State Sovereign Range Masters uh, and they weigh 
weigh 10.3 grains. Okay, the final test is with the uh, Range Master Sovereigns at 10.3 grains. Shooting very consistent as usual. So that's the chronograph test. The day state sovereign range mass is at 10.3 grains. So what I'll do now, we'll put up the results and then the next time you'll see me and the rifle and the pellets will be on the range.
Hi folks, this is uh, part two of the video. As you may remember, the first part was the chronographing test. Today it's the bread and water to see how accurate the pellets are. Uh, the wind today is not on site, it's blowing at 20 miles an hour, so because of that I'm bringing the actual first assessment in for a 20 odds uh, zero. So uh, because of the wind it won't be fair on the pellet to go any further out than 20 I don't think because of it. Uh, so initial tests have been done at 20 odds uh, and when conditions improve we'll take it further out. But we should get a good idea anyway. Uh, so I'll start the test off in the same order. We'll use the uh, Quang Yun Sports pellet first followed by the uh, h and Field Target Trophy Green the h and Field Target Barracuda and finally the one that's tr tried and tested and, and shoots really well is the uh, Day State Range Master Sovereign and they're the obvious to 10.3 grains. Uh, so uh, we'll get on with the test. Okay I've put a zero card up there first because I need to uh, make sure we've got the right zero. So I'll, I'll zero it with the uh, the uh, uh, Chinese pellets first, and then we'll take it from there. Right, we'll leave it at that. So, uh, pretty much on zero. Uh, so I'll put the, uh, the official card up now and uh, I'll take it from there. Okay, this is the official uh, test of the uh, Quan Yon Sports uh, Diablo palette. Come with a nice plastic tin so you can see how many you've got. Uh, now what I have done this time seems to be quite a big hole in the last uh, target card, so I've put some cardboard behind it to stop this flatter. Hopefully that'll help. So here we go.
Okay, that is, as you can see vertically, it's okay, but laterally, there's movement in it, and that's down to chuffing wind, but that's what we're dealing with. So uh, keep that in mind. We probably will have to come back to this when the weather's better. But uh, not bad actually. It's in line with where I've been aiming. It's just uh, moving right to left. Okay, I'll put the next card up. It needs to be the lighter palette, so the point of impact will probably be higher. And these are the uh, H&N Field Target Trophy Green. So uh, I'll load them up and we'll see, uh, we'll see how we get on with those. Field Target Trophy Green. See that's that's opened up from the last lot. A lighted pallet. Quite uh, quite high velocity is around 860 feet per second, and they're only pushing out about nine foot pounds at that. Uh, if you compare that to the 10.3 grains I've got here that are between 11 and 11.2 foot pounds, imagine tuning up. Field target greens to nearly 12 foot pounds. They'd be going supersonic by then. But when you put the uh, the day states in at 10.3, they'd probably be pushing at close to 13 foot pounds or more. So that's what you need to take into account with pellet choice and when you tune a rifle up. So it's best to tune it with the most efficient pellet and then go back from there. Otherwise, you'll end up making a big mistake. Uh, so that is the uh, field target trophy greens. So the next one will be the H&N Barracuda green. Okay, so next up is the Barracuda greens. These are basically a lightweight Bisley Magnum. See the wind's pushing them way over to the left. Push them up. Yep, so the final pellet up will be the, uh, the day state range master sovereign at 10.3 grains. Uh, the last one, probably the worst group of the lot actually. Uh, I think the lightness probably not helping, but they don't, they're, not, they're not suiting this rifle anyway. But that wind really is blowing. And I'll show you that. So, uh, <coughs> I'm going 
go. So it's making a difference. You see the flag down down there as well on the bank. But, uh, there we are, are at 20 yards. Okay, the final one on test will be uh, day state uh, range match to sovereign at 10.3 grains. Okay, so that's the day states. As you can see, I pulled the one on the three o'clock position, but the rest of them are probably about right. One did drop a bit, but uh, that's the kind of group to expect from the uh, day states. So I'll bring it back, compare it with the uh, QYS pellets, uh, and then we'll do some more testing with QYS, see if we can get a better group. But uh, yeah, comparable. This is quite comparable really. I mean these have grouped better but I think that's down to the weight. It's a bit heavier. But, uh, the others if you remember they're strung out on the lateral line. I think that's down to the wind but uh, if that's the case they could really tighten up. Which I know they can do. So uh, what I'll probably do if I can, if I can find it. I'll post some of the ones that uh, Robert Taylor did on his uh, 20 yard shoot. Uh, and you'll be surprised how accurate they are you know I mean it's bloody wind it's really it's hard to, hard to right it probably drop when you get up there again but it's going another way it was really fluttering then but that's what we're contending with all the chuffing time here but uh, there we go so uh, I'll bring it back we'll assess the uh, assess the differences I'll do some more testing with it. Okay then, so where's the two in comparison? If you look on the right hand side we've got the uh, Quang Young pellets, on the left we've got the Day State pellets. Uh, eight shots through each. Going on to this one. Pretty tight group, but it's lateral and I'll put that down to the wind. And moving over be honest now these have always been a really tight pellet uh, you can see there's two outside there one at the five o'clock position one at the three o'clock all the rest seem to have grouped but this one has got some potential and I, I'm putting this down to the wind so this could be a really good pellet for anybody considering a different choice uh, yeah so what do you think of that obviously we've got elements to contend with today but this could be a lot lot better
through again, key wires, I'm not going to say the silly word again, key wires, put it through it, single shot, try uh, see if you can improve or not. Yeah, the easiest way to use this single shot tray is to slide it out, load it on there and push it in a bit. target on the resting on the bell target and we'll seem to be getting the right hole. Keeps ringing. Yeah, these are something special. Now at the moment I've only seen these available at Buttons and the shooting party. Now, I've been informed that the shooting party is the official reporter, I'm not sure. But if these go on general circulation to all the air gun shops, these could take it by storm. Which at the moment the only downside is postage. A nice one to try, and I think at the moment they're only doing them in 177, and that could be down to the fact that the Chinese do really well in uh, the World uh, Target Championships, Olympics, and that's all uh, 177, isn't it? So if they came out in 2-2, I reckon some people might get worried. went off a bit but as you can see just by some of those shots I've done that's a good accurate pellet I say I'm still dealing with that wind so that's not bad Not bell. Black time. You get the point. So that is the Quang Yon Sports Diablo pellets, made in China, 
taking on JSB by the looks of it and doing quite well. So what I will do, I'll post up uh, on the internet people that are actually uh, selling these at the moment and the prices are charging. Uh, obviously the more pellets you buy the more you can save but uh, so far it's looking promising for a good pellet. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm going to use the Sun Young's at 30 yards and I'm going to try and hit the bell target which is uh, only a bit bigger than the pellet. Wind is still blowing, but we'll see how it's going. <laughs> that rhymed. So that'll be the uh, target. 30 yards. I can tell when you miss. See what else we've got up there.
creaking, it's not a trick, it's my arse on the chair. That means I've got to lose weight. It's the, uh, it's the chair telling me I need to lose weight. Okay then, so uh, that's 30 yards. I didn't change the point of uh, aim on the scope from 20 yards, so between 20 and 30 yards, uh, that's about the same. That's pinpoint accurate, really. So uh, when we get a better date, I'll push it out for Thanks for watching.